Hello and welcome to my channel. So I'll do unboxing of the Senada Bikes Mayor model, which is step through bike. And I'm gonna do unboxing, assembly, then we'll go over the specification of this bike, and we'll go for the speed test, and to see how the bicycle should perform, and maybe we'll take it to the heel test as well. So let's open up and see how the bicycle actually parked. So you'll find everything nicely parked looks like. This one is a um, charger, and it's a 3 amp charger, which is good. And over here, you'll find probably the tools. Let's open up and see what they include over here. So they include the pedals, the wrench, and the multi-tool. Also over here is something else. Yeah, let's see. Oh, this one is a bell. So they do include manual bell. And over here you'll find another box. Let's see what's inside. In this box you'll find actually uh, the display. Uh, most likely they ship because they don't want to get it damaged. And it should be very simple to attach, which I'm going to show you later on as well. And here's how it will look from the side of the box. The first step, you would remove this bracket from the steam in order to attach the handlebar. So you would remove these four bolts. Next, I would bring the handlebar up. Okay. And reattach the same bracket with the same bolts you just removed and the next step you would attach the wheel before you attaching the wheel make sure you remove all these uh, nuts from both sides with a washer from both sides same thing you do on this side Then you would step on this plastic. This one is a, a fork protector. You would remove this plastic and insert the wheel. Make sure you insert between the brake pads, the disc, and now the wheel is in. And then you would put the washer first and the nut you removed and tighten up. And you do this on both sides then you'll use the wrench to tighten them up. Next step, you would need to attach the fender and the headlight. You would need to remove this bolt on this side and also one for the headlight on the top. And that's how it's gonna look. So you will attach right over here with the same bolt and the headlight. Uh, the fender's part is going behind the uh, mounting of the headlight right over here and tighten up with the nut from behind. Then you take this um, two wires uh, from the headlight and right over here. Uh, over here you'll find some arrow, same thing you'll find on this side and you just align them and push from both sides like this and it's already attached. The next you would need to attach this uh, rack. Before attaching the rack you would need to remove this uh, two bolts from one side, same thing from another side with allen key. You would need to attach the rack with these two bolts from both sides and then reattach the fender on the rear over here as well. The next step to attach this uh, display. So it comes with two washer which you don't need it because the handlebar is already white so you would remove these two bolts from uh, this part and then just reattach it from both sides with the same bolts you just removed on this side and you do the same thing on this side as well to attach this uh, controller and you would just remove this uh, bolt from this side as well and put it over the handlebar it's like plastic and then retighten from another side right over here and then you would reposition the way it's more comfortable for you to control with your thumb the next step to attach the pedals make sure you attach R to the right side and L, L to the left side and 
didn't take my own with a wrench. Uh, if you don't attach it correctly, they're gonna fall off while you're riding. And now you will attach the seat, insert it, tighten up from both sides with hands, and close this latch. And here's how the mayor bike will look once you assemble it. So let me show you how I will look on this bike. And I'm 5'11". And the position is actually pretty comfortable. It's more like straight up. But you do have some adjustment to do if you need to. So let me show you more about this bicycle. But before I will talk to you about the sizes. So the seat can go as low as 33 inches down from the ground. And as high as 40 inches from the ground. Also, the handlebar is uh, about 44 inches from the ground, but because the way it's made, you can move a little bit low or higher, so it's a little bit adjustable, and you can move a little bit close to you or further. So it's a really nice handlebar, which is 28 inches wide. So the step through frame is actually very useful not only for seniors or women, as it used to be advertised, or ladies, because it's easy to get on on the bike. While if you have a cargo on the back over here, uh, any basket or anything, it will be really hard to flip over your leg. When it's nothing, you can do it. It's not hard. But if you try with the basket on, it will be really hard. That's why I always recommend to get a step-through frame if it's possible and some bicycles don't have the option but this one comes with a step-through which is great and mayor have a tires which is 26 by 4 inches wide it's by Chiang the PSI level it's up to 20 PSI in this tires so I recommend to put between 15 to 18 PSI based on your preference of course but check before you put because the tires might be different from different batch even with the same model also make Make sure before you start to ride this bicycle to put correct pressure in the tires and also charge the battery until the battery charge and to find out how fully charged check your charging block it should turn to green while you're charging and then it means the battery is fully charged and mayor come with a mechanical disc brakes which is 180 millimeters it's 750 motor, that's what they say, but I don't see any marking on the motor. It does come with nice rock. It comes with a tail light and also brake light and signal lights, which is easy to control with your thumb. It's located right on the handlebar and easy to reach. Also, there's a dedicated uh, button for the light. You just push on it and the light will be on. It comes with nice colorful display. Over here a little film which I didn't remove and that's why it's not as uh, bright I guess but there's a protective film. I'm gonna leave it on. You can see battery level, trip, odometer, max and average. And you can switch by uh, pressing the I information. But I have full video again in description how to use and how to change the speed from 28 to 32 miles an hour. The bike also comes with a 7 Shimano uh, gear shifter by Tourney derailleur. And many model also come with a thumb throttle. Come with a front basket the options to attach on the front as you can see. The mayor comes with a large battery which is uh, 48 volt by 20 amp which is 960 watt hours. You can easily remove it by pushing, inserting the key twisting it and push on the bottom over here under the battery okay and it's easy to remove it the button you need to push in order to remove the battery and then it's very easy to insert it you just uh, insert on the bottom and push it back and remove the key the charging port is located on the side from the over here it does come with options to attach the bottle over here and another bottle over here if you need to May bike come with a uh, mud guards front and rear already included in this bike. The mayor bike comes with a, a preload adjustment fork and also locking mechanisms for locking the fork compression. It also comes with very comfortable saddle seat for long rides. All right, so let's go for the speed test to see how the bicycle actually perform. 
I'm running on the pedal assist level one right now with gear number seven. I did adjustment on the brakes and also derailer a little bit. So you do need to do some adjustment, but it's all very. Sometimes I got the bike from Senada when I do zero adjustment. So it's uh, always good to take it to the shop actually. If you are not sure how to do that, the shop can do brakes adjustment, derailer, and it should be uh, just maintenance as always. So now I'm gonna get to the point where we're gonna do speed test. And I'm gonna go with a uh, pedal assist level 5. I believe the throttle, it depends, but we're gonna check it out as well. So now I'm gonna use the throttle only. And I did change the speed to 32 miles an hour in settings. And let's see how fast it can go. It's 19, 20, oh, it's nice acceleration. 23, 24, 25. 26 27 so it's 27 and on display was 27 and 8 so it's almost 28 i think if i ride a little bit longer it would hit 28 miles an hour so let's start over this way again with pedal assist level five and go it's 14 16 18 19 21 22 23 25 27 28 29 30 on display so 29 So it made 29 miles an hour with a good pedaling, but I didn't really feel like ghost pedaling. And now I'm gonna test the brakes to see if they can stop the bike on this higher speed. 29. And I'm gonna brake. And the brakes, as you could see, didn't really lock the wheel so mechanical brakes always not a really good idea to have on the fast speed bikes so this bike went with me on up to 29 miles based on the gps and let's see how much on display was 30 a little bit above 30. so i would say very solid 29 it can go probably faster if you pedal better but without load it takes about it can go about 30 miles an hour so i'm gonna switch to gear level one was uh, actually to pedal assist level one and switch to actually I'll turn it off let's test it out because we already tested the brakes we could see the brakes actually does not lock the wheel that's very important sometimes but depends on the speed you gotta go so definitely with high speed it's better to have hydraulic brakes but they don't really squeak but still you have to really really very hard to push them in order to stop quicker and that's how the mechanical works and it's 180 millimeters, which is good, but still mechanicals. So now I switch to zero, so it means there's no pedal assist at all. And going about eight months an hour, I'm gonna switch to uh, gear number four. So it's much easier to pedal, actually gear number three now. So I feel much better now. So you can pedal it, no problem, as a regular flat tire bike. And the position actually really comfortable on this bike. The hands rested very well on these handlebars. I did not adjust it well yet to my preference, but I'll do it next time. So I just want to, actually this is the first time I'm riding 
this bike so let's see and uh, the throttle is depend on pedal assist so if you want to go to the top speed on throttle you do need to have uh, pedal assist to level 5 and I believe you can change uh, some settings inside and um, the password I used was 1212 if it doesn't work on your model you might want to contact another and they might give you correct password because in order to make the change you do need to have a password but it's a very comfortable pedaling even without power so if you run out of like juice in the battery which is actually large battery 20 amp and the good about uh, running and this bike actually cadence sensor it's not torque so it's cadence sensor it depends how fast I pedal it or not even pedal it just move my feet like this slowly it will go to the top speed wherever pedal assist level set up so cadence sensor might be good for some people the people who has any problems who doesn't want to pedal as hard so it's my feet benefit some older folks so whoever doesn't want really to get pedaling too much on this bike because uh, that's why they buy e-bikes so they can get recovery on the knees and just get in shape because if you buy a torque sensor like they have a osprey bike it's great but then you have a little bit harder to pedal on it okay so now i'm gonna go for heel test and see how the bicycle actually perform so it's about three miles right and let's go the ride actually very smooth the front fork works great on this bike it's a uh, feels like it's a uh, hydraulic and the bike actually not as loud uh, pretty nice uh, ride on the bike very comfortable seat the physician so the only uh, weak points on this bike i think it would be the brakes all right so we're getting close to the uh, to the hill the one i'm gonna test it on and i tested here many bikes already so not all 750 motors can actually go up to this hill mostly with 26 inches tires so i don't really have high ex uh, expectation hopefully we'll make it half hill without damaging the motor because it does uh, i know that some bikes get uh, motor damage after this hill so let's see how it will handle it and i'm gonna switch to pedal assist level five which is top throttle and we're gonna stop over here and and then i notice this elevation so right now it's 792 elevation level on uh, this gps uh, speedometer and now i'm gonna go throttle only up to this hill and see um, we're gonna see how elevation on this hill first as well and the speed so i'm going about 60 miles an hour which is not bad but let's see if it actually can pull me up to this hill which sometimes does not happen on 750 watt motors and i'm gonna try to stay on the bike as much as i can and let's see if i can pass this point whereas most of the bikes would stop so now it's about seven miles an hour which still pulling me up which is good sign and the motor actually i can hear as normal i don't hear any unusual like sounds which is also a good part so five six miles an hour which is also not bad but it's still pulling and i have good news it might make it so far it's six miles an hour on gps and if it makes up to the hill so the motor have enough power and good speed so far so wow actually it did make it six miles an hour it's uh, actually not bad on gp on displays was six and a half so actually it's uh, made it 
and the most important i couldn't hear any issue with the motor because some bikes like Bafang motors i tested before it was making about four miles or like six miles an hour actually less i think four miles with 750 motor but there was issue that they would start to make extra sounds like so all this gear start to make like sounds like the motor will just blow off so here's a hill very steep i can say that uh, it's very comfortable to ride this bike the front fork works really good so it looks like it's 80 millimeter travel maybe even more because as you can see it's going up to here so it's about at least 80 millimeters travel and looks like it's hydraulic fork which is works very decent and nice i think very good on this bike the tires it's all terrain so you can go basically on any road the motor is not as loud as usually would uh, be so the only thing i noticed like uh weak part on this another bike always mechanical brakes and as a frame you can see all this welding but then the space um i guess they you don't really need to fill it up but i would like to see all clean up again some company make really clean some company just weld it the way it will be strong and that's it it does build a little bit different the design and it's not the same as other bicycle as you can see it's like more angles over here so the frame will be different design with more support more support over here so it should be pretty strong frame with two options to attach the bottles as you can see one over here and one over here you can even attach the battery extra if you need to a nice rack full signals like you got turn signals tail light brake light so it's safe to ride at night so it's a uh, performance uh, really good on this bike comfortable riding it can go up to 29 miles based on my weight which is 215 pounds if you lighter you might go faster again uh, with the sp throttle only it was like uh, about 27 almost 28 if it's a longer stretch probably will go faster and i only put like about 15 psi in tires so if you put more psi up to 20 it will go probably fast as well if you lighter you can go up to 32 miles an hour on throttle only i like the thumb throttle it's everything on the bike are full adjustable so you can adjust the weight position handlebar you can attach mirror as i said before you can change the brakes if you don't want to it's only like 100 dollars to replace the brakes usually if you do by yourself 100 to 150 hydraulic brakes very easy to replace usually but again it's nice bike i'm not sure what the price is gonna be on this bike you can check link in description for extra discounts Tinada always have specials when you buy two bikes or promotions so you might want to check link in description to see what the current price for this bike gonna be and as first impression pretty good very strong not every bike would make up to that hill and it made it pretty fast six months an hour for this some for 26 inches i think it's uh, one of the fastest bike actually great bike for going off-road or just as a commuter bike or just ride on the beach thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video